so in this lecture we are going to discuss the regulation of the heart pumping how the heart increase its pumping ability when the demand of blood in the body is increased so there are basically two mechanisms with the help of which the heart pumping is regulated one of it is the intrinsic regulation or the frank starling mechanism of the heart that the heart in itself the muscles of the heart adapt to the, to the increasing demand of the blood and it starts increasing the pumping of the blood another mechanism is the control of the heart by the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system so these are basically two mechanisms with the help of which the heart pumping is regulated the intrinsic the the ability of the heart muscle in itself or the frank starling mechanism and the second is the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system which regulate the increase or decrease the pumping of the heart in this lecture we are basically going to discuss the, its intrinsic regulation or the frank starling mechanism and in the next lecture we will uh, discuss the control of the heart by the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system so what basically is uh, the frank starling mechanism and or how the intrinsic ability how the heart muscle in itself is able to increase its pumping in uh, due to the increasing demand of the blood in the body or due to the increased venous return or the more blood returns uh, to the heart so basically in the intrinsic regulation or in the frank starling mechanism there are two simple basic uh, mechanisms involved and these two mechanisms determine that the amount of blood all the amount of blood that returns to the heart is pumped so this is basically a simple explanation of the frank starling mechanism that all the amount of blood that will return to the blood, uh, heart will be pumped whether less volume of blood less amount of blood or more amount of blood or in other words more the heart muscle is stretch more will the heart muscle pump so increasing the stretch within certain limits will increase the pumping of the heart or the amount of blood all all the amount of blood that will return to the heart will be pumped regardless of its volume that's the simple or an easy explanation of the frank starling mechanism or in other words the intrinsic regulation system of the heart pumping and what are the two basic mechanisms behind this frank starling mechanism there are two basic mechanism one is due to the uh, stretch of the actin myosin filaments that are brought to a more optimal level of overlap because the the heart muscles they are in itself made of molecule at the molecular level the actin the black color actin and the red color myosin filaments so at the molecular level the molecules the proteins the actin and myosin are making the blood when a human uh, when a person is exercising in the gym for example this is the human body this is the body this is basically uh, requiring the blood and the more the the more strenuous exercise the more exertion we are doing the more demand the more is the demand of the blood for example this person is started exercising so more blood will be coming to the body and the body the arms and the legs will utilize more blood and more blood will return to the heart so when more blood returns to the heart it will cause more stretch of the heart muscle initially it will cause stretch of the atria and the atrial pressure will increase and when the atrial pressure will increase it will contract more forcefully and then the blood will go into the ventricles when the, vent the more blood blood goes into the ventricles the ventricular muscles stretch and when they are stretch they contract more forcefully and more blood is pumped that's the simple mechanism of the frank starling mechanism that more the muscles are stretched the more is the force of contraction so when the muscles when the blood is more blood is returning or all the amount of blood that is returning to the heart into the right atrium that is known as the venous return because blood from the arms the legs the kidney the liver from the intestine from the skin from all the organ it is returning into the right atrium that is known as the venous return it will cause stretch of the heart muscle so when this heart muscle is stretched 
the actin myosin the uh, their their overlap becomes more optimal at this at this uh, overlap they were not able to contact more forcefully but when the heart returns to the uh, blood returns to the heart they cause stretch so the actin myosin filament of the heart muscle they get uh, they get to an optimal level of overlap they overlap at an optimal level at such a level that they can contract more forcefully so that forceful contraction of the actin and myosin filament at the molecular level leads to the more forceful contraction of the atrial and ventricular muscles and it leads to more pumping of the heart and more uh, pumping of the blood and enhance the more demand of the body demand of the arms legs liver kidney intestine skin is met during exercise or exertion or fear fight or flight response this is one mechanism and the other mechanism is stretch of the atrial wall directly increase the heart rate when more blood returns to the right atrium when more blood returns to the right atrium it initially causes the stretch of the atrial muscle before it goes into the ventricle and before causing the stretch of the ventricular muscle so when the atrial muscle is stretched more it automatically increase the heart rate in the ventricle it is increasing the force of contraction so apart from increasing the force of contraction the increasing return of the uh, blood increase venous return cause increased stretch and this stretch leads to the increased heart rate this increased heart rate more rate of contraction per minute for example initially the heart was contracting at 80 uh, beats per minute after increasing return of the blood not only the force of contraction of the heart increase but the force of contraction the number of heart beats has increased for example to 90 per minute or 100 uh, beats per minute but this is not very much important mechanism of increasing the uh, force of pumping or increasing the uh, blood volume pumping so the regulation of the heart pumping is is through two mechanism it's either due to the intrinsic ability of the heart the ability of the heart muscles in itself to pump more blood and either it's due to the control of the heart uh, heart rate by the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system the intrinsic regulation of the heart pumping also known as the frank starling mechanism it can be explained is that all the amount of blood that returns to the heart is pumped so if increase amount is uh, coming to the heart more amount is pumped or more the heart is stretched more it will pump so that's the simple explanation of the frank starling mechanism and its molecular mechanism is due to stretch of the actin myosin uh, myosin filament to an optimal level it's basically due to an optimal stretch which puts them in a position to contract more forcefully and the second method is due to the increase in the heart rate so that stretch of the actin myosin filament and that increase in the heart rate that basically leads to the intrinsic regulation or the frank starling mechanism of increased heart pumping if we express them in the form of graph we will have a ventricular function curve and we have basically two types of ventricular function curve one is the stroke work output curve and the other is ventricular volume output curve this one is the stroke work output curve of the left at uh, left ventricle of the left ventricle and here it's the stroke work output curve of the right ventricle so both these two graphs are the stroke work output curves it shows that as soon as the atrial pressure is increasing as soon as the atrial pressure is increasing the ventricular stroke work that is gram per meter also increases so more the atrial pressure the atrial pressure basically increases due to the increasing return of the blood due to the increased venous return so when the atrial pressure increases the ventricular work more the ventricular work so more the atrial pressure more the ventricular work so for the left ventricle it's up to 40 
gram meter work and for the right for the right ventricle it's up to 4 gram meter stroke work so increasing the right mean atrial pressure or increasing the left mean atrial pressure by increasing the venous return will automatically lead to increased stroke work of the ventricle it is low for the right ventricle because the pressure in the right ventricle is low and it is high for the left ventricle because the pressure in the left ventricle is low so by decreasing by decreasing the right atrial pressure the ventricular stroke work basically decreases by decreasing the right mean atrial pressure the right ventricular stroke work decreases and by increasing it it increases this is simple explanation of the frank starling mechanism that if you increase this the stretch or the atrial pressure the ventricular work will increase and the in atrial pressure basically increase due to high venous return and high venous return cause stretch and stretch cause more pressure and more pressure cause more rate and more uh, contraction of the ventricles so stroke work of the ventricles directly increases with the increase in atrial pressure another is ventricular volume output curve here it is shown that as the atrial pressure as the atrial pressure increases the right ventricle and the left ventricular volume output it also increases so here it's the volume output is almost zero but as soon as the right atrial and left atrial pressure is increased the volume output the amount of blood that is pumped out also increased so it's these graphs these ventricular function curve the stroke work output curve and the ventricular volume output curve these two graphs are simple explanation of the frank starling mechanism that more you increase the pressure in the right atria or more you increase the venous return or more you cause the stretch of the heart muscle more will be the force of contraction more will be the volume of contraction so work of the right ventricle and volume of the right ventricle the force of contraction and the amount of blood pumped by the ventricle both will increase when the right atrial or the left atrial pressure is increased and the uh, and the pressure in is increased due to stretch and stretch is caused due to more return of the heart so to summarize it again heart pumping is regulated through two basic mechanism intrinsic regulation the frank starling mechanism and control of the heart by sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system in this lecture we discussed the intrinsic regulation or the frank starling mechanism the frank starling mechanism says that more the heart pump uh, muscles are stretched more will they contract forcefully or all the amount of blood that is returned to the heart with the help or also known as the venous return it will be pumped and it is due to the stretch of the actin myosin filament at the molecular mechanism and increase in the heart rate so the increase in the heart rate due to stretch of the atria and the forceful contraction of the actin myosin filament due to optimal stretch these two mechanisms lead to the frank starling mechanism and if they are expressed with the ventricular function curve the graphs with the help of stroke work output curve and ventricular volume output curve both of them shows that if the atrial pressure is increased then the ventricular force the ventricular work and the ventricular volume the force of contraction and the volume or the amount of blood that is pumped both will increase so hope you have understood this simple lecture thanks a lot for watching the lecture